Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to create an FAQ or frequently asked questions section in Elementor in 2023. Or I'll just call it FAQ. So uh, Elementor, of course, is a popular page builder for WordPress that allows you to design and customize your website with ease. With the help of Elementor, we will guide you through the process of creating a dynamic and interactive FAQ section for your website. So let's get started. Before we start with this video, Make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience. So the first step of course is just to ensure that you have the Elementor installed and activated on your WordPress website. Simply go to your WordPress dashboard and go to the plugins and make sure that you added the Elementor plugin and make sure to even go and upgrade it so you can get this pro because the normal Elementor will lack a lot of features. So for you, make sure to go and get one of their plans, check the features of it and get back here. And of course, you'll have to go and even create a page on your WordPress and uh, go to pages on the last panel, click on pages, uh, click on add new and choose Elementor and you'll find yourself here. So once you are here, simply, you can simply go to this last panel and of course, make sure to go and type a core Dion. And as you can see, you'll find it here. So simply just go and drag it into this option. So as you can see here, you'll be able to go and add a lot of items into this. So the first one, so simply let's just go to this one, to this first one. Let me just go. You can, of course, even go and delete them if you don't want to. So once you click on it, we can simply uh, change the title and description. And here, let's just go and enter the first question that people ask a lot. So as an example, uh, why uh, are you using this as an example? Just a random question. And of course, here you can simply go and answer. So we are using this for like those reasons and etc. And of course, you'll be able even to go and add some medias like with pictures if you want to. Even as you can see, like videos if you want to. You'll be able to add a lot of stuff. As you can see, you can even insert like from URL if you want to. And of course, you can see here and change like the style of the text here. You can go and add some links if you want to like do a lot of other stuff with your answer here or text. And of course, you can even go and change the size example. So there's this border width if you want to change it. There's the border color if you want to change this example. You'll be able to do a lot of stuff so you can go check or do whatever you want of course you as you can see we have here the first question that we answered so now we can go as an example to the second question so let's just go and uh, type as i don't know i'm just going to type test and of course here you'll have to go and type your answer and of course you can go and add how many questions you want so we'll be able to add a lot of items not just one and here you are you have your fact or frequently asked question in your elementor so so other than that, of course, you'll be able to do a lot of other stuff on Elementor, including like here, uh, add in like as an example. If you want to add some intersection, you can simply drag it here into uh, this section as an example. So let's just drag it. And as you can see, you'll be able to edit the layout of it. As you can see, we can edit the content width, the width of the uh, layout, of course, the columns gap, uh, height, vertical lines, overflow, HTML tag, and of course, even the structure of it. If you want to, we'll be able even to edit that so of course other than that we'll be able to edit the style of it as an example so we can change uh, the background of it uh, we can uh, give it a uh, like normal background or hover background uh, there's the, even the background overlay option the border the sh the shape divider and of course the typography also so you can go and also to this advanced and here you will be able to uh, edit the margins the paddings depending on whatever you want of course and this z index uh, css id css classes will just simply edit those margins uh, for you and of course here there is this motion effect that you can edit also responsive uh, attributes and custom css and of course as you can see those will require pro also so uh, of course you'll be able even to add some hidden as an example you can simply just drag it down in there get your hidden here as an example i'm just going to type test here you can even go and even paste a link if you want like this uh, hidden to be clickable you can even edit the sides uh, html tag alignment of it so you can do basically what's 
whatever you want with it. You can even change the style of it, including color, typography, uh, text stroke, uh, text shadow, and the blend mode. And of course, here on the advanced uh, option, you will be able to edit the loud of it, the motion effect, transform, background, border, mask, responsive attributes, and the custom CSS also. And of course, other than that, we have this image. So we can simply go and add our image by clicking here on image. We'll be able to upload some files from our PC as example. So let me just go here as an example and upload this file. And as you can see, we'll be able to upload it. And we can even change the scale of this uh, file or this image however we want. We can even align it to the light, rift, uh, middle. We can even get add some caption, a link as an example. Uh, and we can even go and edit this image of it, uh, the image width as an example, the max width, if you want to, the, he the height. And of course, we'll be able even to change the object's width. Uh, the, uh, we would like to be normal or hover CSS filters will be will be able to apply some and of course on this advanced we'll be able to edit all of those stuff I don't have to go through them again and of course we have here the text editor example we'll be able to go and add some text if you want to and edit the content of it the style of it and even here we have the advanced options so the styles normally going to be the alignment text color typography and text shadow as usual content here we can go and do whatever we want with this as you can see here and that's normally going to be it here of course you'll be able to add some videos as examples so let me just go and drag it here so if you click on this video as you can see you can link a video from youtube if you want to, you can link it from Vimeo or Dailymotion or even self-hosted if you're going to uh, upload it from your PC as an example. So as an example, let's just go here and see we are going to upload something from YouTube. So simply you'll have to go and paste the link right here. Once you do so, the video will appear here and you'll be able to play it whenever you want. Even fix the uh, play speed, the quality of it, and of course the volume and or any thing else that you want to edit so of course if you click on it that will open it even on youtube as an example and you'll be able even to watch it on youtube directly so of course you can even use this navigator from here to go back and edit whatever you want if you want to and of course as you can see the video will be able to even edit some options of it if you wanted to autoplay if you wanted to be mute if you wanted to loop if you want uh, to have some player control or if you don't want people to have player control, uh, the mode is branding, privacy mode. And of course, there's even the style. So here it's just going to be uh, the size of the video, as you can see. So if you put it like this, it depending just on the size of the video, how it's going to be. So you'll have to go and put it the size that you want. You can even go and add some CSS filters. And of course, on this advanced uh, button or option, you'll find the same advanced uh, options. As you can see here, you'll be able to edit the margins, the padding, width, position, and a lot of other stuff here. Other than that, of course, you'll be able to add some buttons. So buttons will work as an example. So as an example, you'll be able to edit text. So I'm just going to type here test again. And of course, you can paste here the link. And if someone click on this test right here, they will be taken to the link that you put here. And of course, you can even choose the alignment of it, the type of it as an example, and size, the icon. You can go and upload like some icon from yourself, the icon space in. And of course, you'll be able to edit the style and a lot of other stuff. And then we have the divider spacer and those like kind of the same thing so you can go and try them out and of course we have even this google maps option this option will let you as an example let me just go and add it here you will be able to add like the location that you want in google maps you can simply go and add the location here and that's gonna be it and of course the icon simply you can go and add whatever icon you want edit the style of it and edit any advanced option that you want also and you will normally be good to go so if you reached this point of the video, congratulations, you've successfully created a pack or frequently asked sec uh, questions sections in your elementary in 2023. Of course, you can provide a user-friendly and informative frequently asked questions experience on your website. And remember to organize your frequently asked questions items logically and consider adding a search feature if you have a large number of questions. So thank you for watching. And if you like this video, make sure to leave a like down below. Subscribe to our channels for more helpful tutorials like this one. And I'll see you in the next video.